Welcome back friends and fellow gamers, this is Roger, here to take you on another legendary adventure. So sharpen your sword, ready your shield, and remember, it's more about the journey than the destination. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of Adventure with Roger. Today I got something a little bit different for you, but it's still in the gaming industry. I'm going to be showing you how to make armor for your NPC mobs in the core gaming development platform. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log into your core account and you're going to want to go up here to create in the top. Then you're going to want to go into create new. You're going to want to go into view frameworks and then you're going to want to pick the third person dungeon crawler and we're going to call this one NPC armor maker create it's going to take a minute to load it up and what we have here is a very small demonstration of an rpg dungeon next thing i'm going to want to do is get rid of all these props they're just a distraction i'm going to click on one of them go up to the top here and find where it says example fantasy props click on it hit the delete button and voila then I'm gonna come right down here and I am going to get rid of that door and that door by just clicking on them and hitting the delete key now we have a little bit more space to work with out here this floor is a little bit too white for my taste so I'm gonna click on it come down here in my properties menu underneath the hierarchy and I think it's this one I'm going to double click on where this material icon right here and I'm just going to pick something that doesn't look ridiculous maybe something like that a nice flat gold color that there we go I like the contrast all right so now we're gonna come over here and do our project contents and over here on the left side we're gonna type in NPC. Now because this is the dungeon platform there's some pretty standard NPCs in here to work with and we're going to pick out the human arbalist and we're just gonna click on it and drag it onto our screen so we have our human arbalist right there and then I have already made a pretty cool guy with some armor on him so I'm gonna go to community content go to my content because he's one of mine and I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to go to what did I do with him what did I do with that guy what did I do with that guy uh oh There he is. I'm going to import him. Hit save. Pulls him up for me. I'm going to take him and pull him out over here. So I'm going to show you. As you can see, I've got armor all over this guy. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. A little bit different than your standard arbalist. Pull this guy over here a little bit. So I'm going to show you how to take this guy on the left and turn him into something kind of cooler like you have on the right side right here. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look. I'll open this up a little bit bigger so you guys can see right there. And then in our hierarchy over here, I'll make it a little bit bigger so you guys can kind of see what's going on. There we go. Drag this down here. Okay, so human arbalist, plain Jane. We're going to open it up, go down here to client context, the geo root is what we want, and the geo root is where basically all the looks of our character are going to be found in here. And you can see in here already, we have our fantasy human guy, he's the guy that's inside the armor, so we can just kind of take him out if you want. I'm going to leave him in there. And then we have a right prop, which is going to be the crossbow. We have a head, a left shoulder, a right shoulder, 
a left hip and a right hip. So the first thing I'm going to want you guys to do is, is if you plan on doing a full set of armor, like I have on this guy, the first thing I want you to do is target a piece on him, and we're going to duplicate some new, some new uh, slots so we can get a, a torso and a belt and some leg stuff and some feet stuff and some new shoulder pads and new helmet and some stuff on his back and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is, is I like make it easy on myself. I'm going to go to the head and I'm going to open up the folder here and all this stuff is already on his head. So the pipe, I'm going to hit control, hold down control and just normal click on these. And I'm going to highlight all the stuff that's on his head and that lens right there. So this is all the stuff that's on his head underneath the helmet tab right here. And I'm just going to hit the delete key. And it's going to ask you, do you want to do you instance it and hit delete and just hit yes. So now you can see there's no pieces on his head, but we still have the head in the hierarchy and we still have the folder underneath head, which is called helmet. So what I'm going to do is, I'll close that, I'm going to right click on head, and I'm going to go up here to duplicate. I'm going to do it a few times, I'm going to do it at least four times. Duplicate, and duplicate. Now I have four, five head slots total. We're going to keep the one that's on top, and uh, we're going to come down here to the bottom one, and I'm going to right click on it I'm going to go to rename and this one is going to be right underscore ankle enter I'm going to go to the next one I'm going to go rename I'm going to go left underscore ankle and then I'm going to go to this one I'm going to go to rename I'm gonna go to right underscore knee. I'm gonna go to this one. Rename left underscore knee. So then we have right hip, left hip. Um, I don't really like the, we can just leave those there. We might use them for something. I'm gonna do this one more time. I'm going to duplicate head and I'm going to rename it pelvis because that's what I'm going to use for his waist and, and belt area and both hips and his butt are all going to be under pelvis and then I have left shoulder, I have right shoulder okay now I want to, I have right prop. Okay, I'm gonna go to head again. I'm gonna hit duplicate and I'm gonna hit duplicate again. Next, I'm going to rename this one upper. No, hold on. Let me think. Uh, yeah, upper underscore spine. Enter. And then this one, I'm gonna rename it lower underscore spine let me just double check those real quick I think that is correct I will I will put a uh, link into the description of where I'm getting these animation sockets from I think we're good to go for what we want to do here today I think we're good okay so now no matter where I put stuff on this guy I have a slot for it almost every single position and I'm also going to do the head last if I put something on the head I'm going to do that last because right now the head is basically a blank slate that I can duplicate off of like I just did so if I do anything to the head I'm going to do that last after I'm done making sure I duplicated it as many times as I needed to so now I'm going to go to I don't like these shoulder pads or knee pads that the guy has on here so I'm going to open up the left shoulder, 
I'm gonna go in here and hit delete on the fantasy gauntlet arm and I'm gonna go to the right shoulder and I'm gonna do the same thing over there and then I'm gonna go down to where did they put those they didn't put it on the knees like they were supposed to they put it somewhere else so I created those ones right hip oh. they put it on hips okay so we're gonna delete that and the left hit we're gonna need to delete that one okay now we got a blank slate I want to keep the crossbow because it's gonna help me fit some of the pieces I want on the, onto the crossbow if I delete the crossbow it's gonna be very hard to customize the looks of the weapon when it's not there and also we don't want to ruin uh, the placement of the NPC itself because sometimes if you delete the weapon and then you try to rebuild the weapon in the same spot um, he'll grab it and it'll be like stuck on his forehead or he'll be carrying it around on his foot or something so you don't want to ruin the way that that works at all so I don't want to make it a look exactly like this guy I want to make another arbalist that that uh You know what I mean. So that I can use later on in, in one of my games that I'm going to make in the future. Because I already have that template saved. So this one I want to make just a little bit different. But I'm going to show you how to make something cool. It's just basically the same principle. So we're going to go down here to core content. And if you go down here in core content, you're going to notice somewhere in here you're going to have something called 3D objects. Just go ahead and click on 3D objects. It's going to open up this entire gigantic menu of all these prefabricated pieces. So in here you have uh, just 3D objects that are just pieces of something greater that you can make. And you have all kinds of stuff. You have chairs, doors, all kinds of weird stuff. So if you wanted to make this guy out of furniture you could literally do that. You could put like a door here and you could resize the door and you could, I'm using my W, E and R keys for these three different tools that are on here. The W lets me move stuff around, forward, back, up and down. The E key lets me rotate stuff and the R key lets me resize things completely or elongate things or make them taller or shorter so if I wanted to I could put this door literally right on his chest and size it a little bit better and he could literally use a door as a chest guard and what I would do is I would take that door and I would drag it into something like the upper spine this is where I would put it like this uh, yep and this is I'm gonna rename this from helmet to chest and now because now it's in the proper folder if I just hit shift and the equals button see how it moves along with him now wherever he's going the door is stuck to him and the other guys are running with him too they're going over there to the nav mesh anyways that's how we're going to place items so i'm going to come back in here now to the upper spine because i don't want that stupid door on there i'm just going to click on the craftsman front door and hit the delete button and now it's gone all right, so let's look through here and get an idea for something we want to do with our arbalist here. Well, let's just get an idea for something neat. There's just so many things in here. Okay, this might look kind of cool. Let's grab one of these gears. And let's turn it sideways. 
move it up. Kind of fit it on there. It's a little bit too thick. So we'll use this tool and we'll scale it down a little bit to right about there. And then let's move it over. Let's tilt it right about there. Hit the W key and move it over here a little bit. Something like that. Still a little bit too big, maybe. Yeah, let's go like something like that. Move it over in there a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to click on that gear. How do I kind of have it where I want it? And I'm just going to hit Control W. And what it does is it makes a copy of the gear exactly on top of the other gear. So now I can just take this and move it over and move it down. And I'm going to position this one almost, almost identically to the way I have the one on the other side. So we're pretty close. It's pretty close. Let's move. I think it's tilted just a little bit. Maybe it needs to come this way a little bit. Let's take a look at it from the side. We can get a better, a little bit better idea. Back up a little bit. It's a little bit difficult because the uh, the crossbow is not exactly straight he's holding it at an angle which makes it a little bit more difficult but that's okay we'll we'll get it very close so that we won't even be able to tell the difference so that is very very close to where we want it to be uh, it looks pretty uniform okay we're going to just leave it like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and see these are the two at the very bottom here are the two gears I just placed. So I'm going to click on one, control click the other one so I have both of them. I'm going to come up here to where it says right prop. And I'm going to go in here. Okay, so this is the geo pieces for the crossbow. So let's just pull these gears up into the geo for the crossbow and the reason I call it the geo is because these are located underneath the geo root and then we have right prop and our head and you know what I'm saying okay so those are in there now they're in the side the geo so now if I start the game up again those should be connected to the crossbow and he should run around with those on there so I'll just say, there we go See, there he goes. All right, we'll move on to... Next thing I wanna do is I wanna get rid of, now that I know those are connected on there, I wanna get rid of this piece that is between the gears right there. So I'm gonna come up here into the right prop geo and I'm gonna find the piece. There it is. It's the Fantasy Crossbow Bow 01 piece. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to hit the delete button. And now we just have those two gears. I want to put, I think I want to put another gear. This is going to be some weird looking armor, but it's going to be different. I'm going to put another piece of gear. Kind of try to line it up inside these notches. And we'll use this one. So I'm going to just pull it from my menu of Cortante onto the screen. I'm going to turn it sideways. Get a little bit of an aerial view here. I think we need to go like that. And then we need to push it kind of in like this. I think it's a little too big so I'm going to scale it down like that. 
I'm gonna move it over so it's centered a little better. And then I'm gonna start to turn it until I kind of get it where I want it, like inside some grooves there. And once I get it pretty close, I can then click on these guys and I can kind of move them just a little teeny bit to make these th this line up a little bit better. Man, that looks pretty darn close. I think if I just... Let me see how I'm looking from the side. Okay, so I need to go this way a little bit. There we go. Look at this side. So I think this piece actually needs to go back or turn this way ever so slightly. There we go. All right, that is really close to right on the money of where we want that to be. Right on. That looks kind of cool. All right, so for some sights on top of the crossbow here, we have this piece that's right here. And I think what we could do is, is take one of these and I want to scale it way down so it's little. And I'm gonna go like that. And I want to slant it so it's kind of there we go. Kind of going like that. There we go. It's like right in there and it, you can tell it's it's straight with the piece that's already on there. Now I'm just going to hit Control W and I just basically copied another piece of it. And now I want to move it into place so that it's also My camera is really sensitive. So that this side's also lined up nice and evenly with that piece of the wood piece that's right there. So just move that over a little bit. Now we have like a custom looking sight because those gears are sticking up out of there and he can kind of look down the middle of those gears. All right, so I want to now grab these three pieces, control click them, and move these three pieces up into the crossbow as well. So now those pieces are all connected into the crossbow. Nice. It's starting to look pretty cool. All right, so now I want to go straight into his... his uh, Let's go with the torso. Let's start on the torso or the shoulders. Kind of keeping the same theme here. I'm going to take this big gear, solid looking one. I'm going to drag this up in here. I'm going to pull this over here, line it up with his right shoulder, and we're going to tilt it. Move it up over onto here. I don't want his shoulder to stick through it. I'll go like that. Scale it down a little bit more. And now we don't want his shoulder sticking out through it. But we want to position it on there nicely. So I'll just bring it out just a little bit. Okay, something like that. Alright, so now let's go into that's his right shoulder. So we'll click on that. We'll come over here and we'll go. Right there is the right shoulder right there. So we're just gonna go into there. And now it's connected to his right shoulder. And I wanna do something very similar to the left shoulder. And I'm just gonna hit Control W. 
So I copied the gear, I pulled it on over, and now I'm going to rotate it 180 and line it up with this shoulder. And that is basically right on the where I want it to be. So that new gear that we just placed, where is it? That's the weapon. Uh-oh. Did it duplicate it in the right shoulder folder? Yep. So we don't want that piece that we just made on the right shoulder. We want it on the left shoulder. So we're going to take it and we're just going to drag it up onto the left shoulder. And now it's under the right geo folder right there. So now we have two shoulder pads. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's try and figure out something for the chest piece. Dun -dun. I've got a little bit of an idea. I know that there's some tank parts in here. And the one tank part this thing right here I'm gonna pull it out I know it's big you know because it's a piece of a tank but we're gonna scale it down so we're gonna go like this the scaling tool we're gonna flip it up let me flip it over is that where eh, let's keep it like this let's pull it over here to his chest put it right on top of him and now we're going to scale it down till it kind of looks like it might fit on the chest. Let's move it over. Let's turn it this way. And let's turn it that way. I mean, kind of. There we go. Now, when you're doing this, don't be afraid to push it into the character model. So I'm going to come over here on the side and I'm going to just. I'm going to push it into his body until I can't see his chest sticking out from in front of it. So I'm going to just move it around on here until there we go. I can't see his chest sticking out the bottom. I can't see his chest sticking out the middle or the top. But it's not quite exactly where I want it to be yet. So let me refine the piece here. Down here at the bottom. I think it's too high, too close to his chin. So I'm going to move it down a little bit. There we go. Now I could use, I could make a custom piece out of like cubes. Like I could just make something out of cubes, fit a bunch of cubes together, reshape them, elongate them. But for the sake of this video, trying to keep it around under an hour, I'm going to use these pre-made assets that are either made by other players or made by Core itself. So now that I have the chest piece on there, I want to stick with the gear theme. And I want to put a gear on his chest. Uh, brother typing in gear was a bad idea so let's take this one turn it sideways scale it down center it as best as we can on his chest here it's not even anywhere close to his chest so let's move it over here move it down let's turn it like that Oh, that's kind of a neat idea is have it off-centered a little bit. I kind of like the way that looks actually. So I'll get it on there as close as I can to. I like having it off-centered so I'm going to scale it down a little bit more and then drag it kind of off to the side a little bit. There we go. That looks kind of cool. I like the way that looks. 
All right. So now the color, the color on this is bugging me. And also having the gears on the shoulder pads is not, I don't like the way that looks either, honestly. kind of bugging me. It looks kind of ch too cheese. Let's see what, oh, I got a good idea. I like the way the chest piece turned out. So what I'm going to do here, let me find the shoulders. There we go. I'm going to delete these shoulders because I think they look hideous the way they are right there. But, I'm going to take this. I'm going to turn it sideways that way, sideways that way. Lift it up in the air. Scale it down. Pull it over here. Move it over the shoulder area. Man, that was way off. Okay, let's move it up. Turn it sideways. Oh yeah, this is gonna look sick. All right, let's move it down. I feel like we're just a tad too big. Let's scale it down a little bit more. It needs to go up a little bit. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Okay, now we got this gear and this particular gear looks like a tank wheel without the tracks being on it. And I like that. I think that looks cool. So I'm keeping with the gear theme here a little. I'm going to move it up. Scale it down so it fits in this ring. I need to turn it this way a little bit. Oh yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, this way. further in so it's gonna be very difficult to fit that in there the way I want it to fit in there so what I'm gonna do is is with the scaling tool I'm gonna make it stick out like that and now when I move it in a little bit more There we go. That looks really nice, man. Now we are on par. Okay, so now I have these four pieces down here who are not in the geo. So we're gonna take this as part of the shoulder and that one's part of the shoulder. So I'm gonna control click those and those are gonna go into the right shoulder, which is up here. And these two pieces are part of the chest and we don't have something called a chest but we have upper spine and that's where we want to put those two pieces is the upper spine if you have anything on the chest or his back all the way down to the pelvis belt area so this whole area you're gonna to want to put it in the upper spine or if you have something between here and here you could do lower spine as well because that is your bet but your better bet so if you have a separate piece to cover like his stomach or a separate piece to cover his lower back I would use lower spine so I'm going to set up a piece now on his foot and his ankle and then I'm gonna end the video there because you guys can figure out the rest um, all you got to do is is wherever you place the parts from this position looking at the character 
you want to put it in the appropriate slot. So right shoulder, left shoulder, upper spine, lower spine, pelvis, right ankle, left ankle, right knee, left knee. And that should pretty much cover his entire body. So let's do his left ankle. For the, for the left ankle, I'm going to go with... I saw a piece right here that will probably work. I kind of like this piece. I'm going to scale it way down like normal. Drag it over here. It's going to be kind of like a foot guard piece. It's going to make it kind of look like he has a, a metal shoe on, so to speak. So we're going to put it so it's just even with his front, his front of his boot, like that. And we also want it to be level with the ground, but not so his foot's sticking out the top of it. So right there is money. Okay, now I want to put something kind of sticking up like an like a boot would on the back here and let's see what kind of other pieces we have right here. It's always tricky when you start dealing with rounded areas, it becomes very tricky. if we can get this piece to work. So we're just kind of trying to fit it in here a little bit. It does look a little bit brother. If I tilt it a little bit and then move it over. Now we're getting somewhere. He's got some serious gravity boots going on. <laughs> Maybe we'll get like a happy accident, guys. Maybe. So, not wide enough. So, we're going to make it wider. And we're going to move it over. I think we need to turn it at ever so little of an angle like that other piece and make it a little bit wider so it fits inside there scooch it back in so that it's inside this other piece but not sticking out of it like that we don't want that so if we push it in is it sticking out yeah okay so we made it too wide so, let's go like this, and there we go. That looks very interesting. If you did the other, the other one like that, that would look kind of cool. All right, so the next thing I need to show you guys before I end this video real quick is first let me just move these three pieces into the left ankle. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to change the colors on this stuff so that you can kind of customize it with the colors that you want. 
So I'm going to come over here to the chess piece. Um, so I need to actually target it in my menu here. And we know that it's in the upper spine. So we'll find that and we'll just click in here. So that's the gear, that's the chess piece. So when we click on it in the hierarchy, which is this box right here, it's called the hierarchy. When we click on a piece, it brings up some stuff down here in the properties menu, which is this one down here in the bottom right under properties. And that piece, because it's a core content piece, has different materials and details built into it already. So we can see here that the piece itself doesn't currently have a uh, material with it. It's more like just a paint at this point. It's a, just a paint on there, which does look kind of neat because it's like an old military tank type situation. But just for the sake of the video, let's change it. Let's change it to carbon fiber, which you can tell now has the carbon fiber feel. And you can look around in there, guys. There's just a million different stuff you could work with. There's so many textures. You could make his chest look like brick. You could make it glow. You could make it transparent. You could make it gold. You could make it rubber. You could use this tech panel. Make it look super sci-fi looking. There's so many different things you can do. I'm going to do like, a, like the carbon fiber look. And then when I have the carbon fiber texture, now I can still change the color. I can change it to whatever color I want. I can do purple. I can do blue. I can do white. You can do whatever color you want once you get the material selected that you want to use. I'm going to keep it black for now. And then we can do the same thing to the gear. We can s select the gear in the hierarchy. We can come down here and we can choose a material. We can use, we can make it glow. You can do whatever you want to do. And then you can change the color, you can change it to blue, make it glow blue. You can do whatever you want. We can even do go to the weapon, the right prop, go down into our geo, find one of the gears that's on our right prop here, and we can change the color of it. Okay? We can make it glow. Okay? You can do whatever you want. We can so that is how you change armor. And just to show you that uh, it's all working like it should be, I'll get myself killed again and turn him on. And there he goes. He's running. He has the boot on. He has the shoulder pieces on. He has the weapon equipped. Everything is moving with the character as it should. And that, my friends, is how you create a totally custom piece uh, or armor set using the uh, core game development. All right, friends and fellow gamers, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Please remember to comment and subscribe. You can find a link to more content, social media, and my Patreon in the description if you would like to help me support more of my content on YouTube. Remember, liking the video not only helps me out, but will also help promote the core gaming platform to more people, which is something we all want. My name is Roger. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next adventure, everyone. Take care of yourself.